Hi everyone, I hope everybody is doing well. I'm sorry about the format that we have this video today and all the noise that you hear in the back room. Back roomed. We are still in Mercury retrograde until the 15th. It's not the 15th yet. And even then we have a post shadow period. If you don't know what Mercury retrograde does to somebody, it affects your speech. Uh, we have de technical difficulties. You might be stumbling your words a little bit more, etc. Things uh, sometimes just go a little haywire. And uh, you can see an example of that all throughout this video right now. I can't speak. My device holder, which is right here, this little clip you're showing, is not clipping on this right here. This little table, which is not my usual desk either. I try to make it work, but um, it seems like there is something always breaking in my home. And there are some people out there trying to fix it. So I'm giving them access to the other rooms. And therefore I'm just using this table, which is very low to the ground. So I have like a little pillow on the floor and I'm doing my thing. At least you have a view of, of some beautiful palm trees. I live out here in the Dominican Republic. You know, I don't know if that, that will add some beautiful energy onto here, um, but this isn't uh, forever. And I wanna thank you guys for your patience. I haven't posted in a little while. I did tell you guys that somebody passed away and I had to travel and whatnot. And I've just been having a very hard time getting back into the groove of things. I had to go within and figure out why that is, but I've been experiencing some serious blockages. I gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it real. And I'm already getting that that's also part of the energy. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys all here. I do wanna tell you that I'm a medium. So my main ability is channeling besides tarot. So even in the intro from the moment I hit record, everything that comes out of my mouth is a part of the reading. Nothing's an accident. Um, and how long I channel for, what I say, it really depends. And um, I have visions of the cards. Sometimes I'll tell you what I see before I start pulling cards, but it'll start to um, come together. But that's the overall energy also. It's just an energy of blockage. And I want you to know, and I'm already channeling this message, that whenever you feel a particular blockage, that seems to be more significant than others, right? Like I'm keeping it 100% real with you guys. And I'm saying I've been having blockages when it comes to recording readings. And that's a problem because number one, this is my life's purpose. Number two, this helps me survive, okay? This is uh, my income. And... So if I have a blockage, it blocks my whole life, okay? So I already know I'm going to have a very tough month this year. I mean this month, okay? Financially also, because if I don't record, I don't make money. So you got to know if I have a block, it's like it's serious, right? And that's an alert though. When you have a blockage like that, I know that people say, oh, when you feel blocked, push through. Yeah, you got to push through, but you also can't ignore it. That's the divine speaking to you about something. There is something that's being brought to your attention about the situation, okay? What, you know, there's something, and sometimes it's not directly related to the actual situation. Like I realize my blockage has not much to do with tarot in itself and living my life purpose in this way it has to do with my environment and other things, um, personal things. You, so yeah, push through. I'm not gonna tell you not to, but the divine also wants you to take some time and sit down and analyze what in your environment or your psychology, or your mind, what's going on, and get to the bottom of it. What is it that's causing some kind of blockage, or some kind of feeling, or some kind of frustration? This doesn't just apply to blockages. This could also uh, 
pertain to any kind of heavy feeling, any kind of negativity, any kind of frustration, any kind of anxiety that you're having. I don't know, the list goes on. Take a moment, close your eyes and meditate today. I know that we can get stuck in the hustle and the bustle of our everyday lives and then just feel like, oh, you gotta get things done and you just push through. And we forget to connect to the divine. Sometimes the divine creates blockages just to push us to quiet down our mind for once and actually listen to them because the angels and the divine are trying to talk to you on a regular basis and sometimes we're just so caught up in our feeling that we're not listening to what they're actually trying to say. And sometimes you even think like you are connected and you are hearing their messages, but you're not hearing everything they're saying. So they continue to cause blockage to force you to put yourself in a place where you have to meditate, you have to silence your mind, and you really do have to listen to the messages and the signs that they're giving you until you get it, until you understand, because what they're trying to share with you is crucial for your life path right now is what I'm being told. Crucial information. Whether it's a change you need to make, a change in something as simple as your diet or your environment or your routine or or there's people around you that they, the divine wants you to be mindful of that are siphoning your energy and are energy vampires or something within yourself that's creating a blockage or if it's time to move on from someone or something. The list goes on, but the divine, the divine wants you to listen and they want you to listen quickly. I need some more information about this. What are you trying to communicate with the people that are watching this right now? And then I'm getting, oh my God, but see, that's, okay. So now we have an emperor in reverse. And that's for some of you. And I'm going to take that out that stood out to me because, we, oh yeah, look, especially look what's at the top. Okay, we have the emperor in reverse. We have with the devil. And then we have the moon. Okay. And that's a confirmation, a personal confirmation for me. Okay, because I just had a conversation about somebody that is literally in this energy. Oh my God, I wish that, I'm sorry, the setup, that's what I'm saying, because having the setup like this, you can't see the cards. You can't see them. Like I can hold them up, but the moment I put them down, you can't, you can't see what they are. And that's what, that's, that's the issue. So I hope you can bear with me until um, they leave here. The Emperor in reverse, okay, is somebody that's very controlling, has a nasty attitude, very egotistical. When you sex with the devil, though, it's even worse, okay? This is a controlling, manipulative person, somebody that's easily angered, somebody that likes to get their way, somebody very controlling. This is a tyrant, could be a tyrant. The reason I'm saying that this is standing out to me is because I was just having a conversation with a fellow mom about somebody and in this behavior. The moon is your shadow, your fears, darkness, things done in the dark. And um, so it really, like I literally just had the conversation about someone like that. Like my, my daughter's in piano class and I was talking about taking her out of piano class because the music teacher is kind of a little bit of an emperor in reverse. And I'm paying money for her to go to piano class. And she came home crying on Tuesday because instead of being patient with her, when she's nine years old, she came into my car crying that he yelled at her and said, it's been three days and you still don't get the song because she kept messing up on a particular part. And that obviously irks me, right? So the fact that I just had this, that is an example, right? Obviously, someone doesn't have patience with children and should not be doing what they do for, for a living if that's the way that they talk to kids. Um, you know, that is an example of an, a very light example of an emperor in reverse. Someone that has moon energy, someone that has some kind of shadow that really create, makes them this way, that makes them frustrated adults, okay? And therefore, try to dim the light um, out of somebody. I'm not saying, so, you know, things like that happen. That's how channeling works. Like, so that to me was a confirmation. I'm not saying that this is about a music teacher that's in your life, you know, but that was like an inkling, like, okay, now I understand the energy that I'm picking up on because something like that came through in my 
Indiana, like literally right before I hit record. The way that I'm channeling the devil with the moon though, is literally that. I'm getting the message, I'm hearing somebody that wants to dim your light. Somebody that wants the light for themselves, actually. Somebody that likes to be the center of attention, likes the light. In the wrong ways. They want, they, 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 they have a lot of dark energy. They want to dim the light of others so that they can get some light for themselves and put it on their head in the same way that this devil card has, has it. And that's the art of uh, channeling. I get these cards all the time. I've been using this deck for like three years or for actually well, long, way before that. I've been using this one, this deck for years before this channel, but never channeled it this way, but that's what I'm getting right now. Now I want you to know that the Emperor in reverse is masculine energy. So this could be a man, but it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody that's in masculine energy. And I want you to know that. But what the F? This could be a boss. This could be a family member. This could be a love relationship. But this is literally somebody that's a tyrant. They have a lot of darkness. Honestly, the emperor in reverse, the devil and the moon together is the... If I had to say, give me some cards to describe a narcissist, like this would be it. It would be the emperor in reverse, the devil and the moon. You can't tell me otherwise. Like, this is like, literally the combination for that. And it's interesting because we were saying you've been getting a lot of blockages lately and the divine's trying to talk to you. There's a lot of blockages in your life. The divine's trying to talk to you. And what did come out of my mouth was maybe you have some energy vampires around you that are creating some blockages in your life. Or have. And the divine's trying to clear you from that. I need more information. That's what we're going to get. And again, I am so sorry that you can't see the cards right now. Like, that stinks. Like, that's part of the whole experience. But instead, you're looking at a headboard, a bed, a mattress, some beautiful Dominican Republic palm trees, and the next door neighbor's roof and shingles. Not shingles, are they called shingles? Isn't shingles a disease? Is that also what you call the things on the roof? What are they called? Is that, that's it. That's, those are the words, right? Isn't that, is, that's the word too, right? <laughs> Don't laugh at me, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> Whatever those things are. <laughs> that, the top of the roof. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why is this emperor in reverse here? Who is this person? Damn. Hold on. Who is this person? That's interesting though. I'm not going to take it out, but it's interesting that I just got the 10 of cups, which is a union and a relationship. I don't know if you noticed that it just fell out. And then what's underneath here is the eight of cups, which is somebody that walked away. So I don't know if this is like an ex or somebody you walked away from right it's having a hard time with that and they're getting in their shadow over it um but i'm gonna shuffle and get more information on that why is the emperor in reverse here and guys please i pray that you guys get through all your blockages and please pray for me because my energy has been weird and I have to get back into the groove of things. And it's just, I've just been off. I know, I know funerals sometimes do that to people, but like, just in general. You know what it is also? Probably the change, the travel, like going back and forth. I tend to be very sensitive to that too, but it, it's more than that. Like um, changing environments. I gotta figure that out. All right, let's see. What did I say? With the seven of swords here. Who is this? Oh my God. Okay, we have the six of cups in reverse. 
I'm not sure if that came out upright or reverse, to be honest. Whatever, I'm gonna read it. Either way, it's the same message. These cards are not so, somebody has some yucky energy. The Six of Cups in reverse and the Magician in reverse. Now we have a, like, now this is a straight master manipulator. And this is somebody from the past. The Six of Cups is somebody from the past. Dang it, I haven't been here in a while. Can we have something positive here? But this, that's what the divine saying is that. Sorry, that motorcycle. So the divine saying is that there's always a positive in something, even if it seems negative. This is somebody in the past, okay, magician in reverse is somebody that's quite manipulative. Seven of Swords, again, is someone manipulative, trying to get away with something. So with the ember in the reverse, the double, the moon, the six of cups in reverse, the magician in reverse, and the seven of swords. You know what I'm getting? Somebody is trying to act. I don't think that you want this person in your life anyway. Okay? Literally. This emperor in reverse is somebody from the past, somebody that you've known from the past. They're trying to act like they don't want to reconcile with you. Okay? And they're trying to get in your head one way or another. Meanwhile, this person is trying to manipulate themselves back into your life. Because this is somebody that has a lot of dark energy attached to them and just doesn't know how to be a healthy person. So you wouldn't want to connect with someone that moves in this way anyway. This isn't somebody that can just send you a bouquet of flowers. I just thought about that when I saw the Six of Cups, saw those flowers, and say, hey, I'm sorry for everything in the past. I love and miss you, right? This is somebody that wants to come back into your life, that wants to, but almost like it wants it to be like your idea because they have so much dark energy that it's like they crave the validation more than they crave you. I have to keep it real. Like they want you to come back into their life and tell them that you miss them, that you want to reconcile. They miss the manipulation that they had with you in, the, in your dynamic. Whether or not, and I'm sorry for whoever's gone through this, whether or not they're even conscious of that. They miss the control that they had over you while you guys were in the dynamic you were in. And with the seven of swords underneath the moon here, I'm seeing clear as day, they also miss getting away with things and doing things in the dark. This is somebody that manipulated the shit out of you for quite some time, for validation, for control, for feeling better, okay, about themselves. They might have dangled a carrot in front of your nose for a very long time, led you on, never offered anything substantial. This person is tyrannical, okay? And I know that the way that they sound right now is very evil. I'm not saying that there isn't anything positive about this person, but they definitely have some kind of dark entity attached to them that makes them behave this way, okay? So this is somebody, I guess, that wants to come back into your life, but they wanna do it through manipulation so they can get away with something again. This could also be someone, let's say, you separated from, that did you dirty, 
And instead of taking responsibility for what they've done and talking about it, they kind of just want to sneak back into your life, like the Seven of Swords. So they, no one ever brings up what they did in the past, how they behaved, how manipulative they were. They want to keep all that behavior in the dark. But they still want to be in your life. This person, without you even realizing, see the Six of Cups, when it's upright, is a reconciliation. When it's in reverse, if someone doesn't want to reconcile, I'm getting like, you're not giving the per this person the attention that they, this is a very egotistical person. I feel like this person may be back in your life and, and trying to get back in your life and try to pull your heartstrings and you're not giving into it in the way that they thought that, that you would. They thought that you would be swooning after them or wanting to like talk to them all the time and and uh, calling them and, and you're not doing any of that. You're not really interested. And while you're living your merry life, probably not even thinking about this this much, this is actually hurting this person's ego more than you think. Because this person is literally centered over ego. I don't know who this is for, but it's as clear as day. Now, I want you to know this person has not grown and has not changed this behavior. This is who they are. You can't have the emperor in reverse, the devil, the moon, the magician in reverse, the seven of swords and six of cups in reverse, and tell me that this is a changed person. Like, there is no sign on this table of anything but just dark energy, especially with the six of cups in reverse. The six of cups also signifies childhood and childhood wounds and such. When it's in reverse, it means someone that refuses to look at their childhood wounds and rather show up in a manipulative way act uh live their life through their shadow through projections through their devil energy their carnal energy and rather literally sneak through life in this way instead of making progress and making changes and that could apply to a lot of people in your life right this person rather just not look at any of the things that affect them okay and just sneak through life, hoping it doesn't catch up to them. But I feel like it is. It's not on the table right now, but now I'm getting like, I just had a vision. Go, whoop, I just had it. When I have those, they're clear. I just had a vision of a tower moment with the Ace of Swords. Something's gonna come out about this person. Okay, <clears throat> something's going to come out. You're either going to learn a secret about this person or their devil energy can't stand the fact that, that how they envisioned that you would respond to them. You're not responding that way to them. And so their devil is going to show. The horns are going to show. Because they can't control it. And that's exactly how you should handle people like this. Let them be as manipulative as they want until they manipulate themselves. Until they expose themselves. Because at some point, the ember in reverse, his ego is going to be too big to hold in who they really are. I need more info on this. Why is the Seven of Swords here and stuff, though? Damn, everything's falling. This was poking through before. The Eight of Wands is something very quick moving, something moving very quickly, something, this is arrows of like fast communication, fast action.
What about that? It would be helpful if I could shuffle like a normal person today. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why, are, why is the Eight of Wands here? Eight of Cups, which we saw last time also, which is walking away, abandoning something. And what about it? Eight of Swords, which is a self-imposed imprisonment of a minor, having someone trapped. The High Priestess. High Priestess is the card of silence. It's like, so somebody comes forward very quickly and they're used to doing that. Because the Eight of Wands for me is like a love bombing card. So this is somebody that just comes back out of nowhere after whatever happened with you guys after some kind of walking away, right? And they kind of are just expecting that you miss them or that you want them in your life. Or that they're gonna trigger your hard strings and you're gonna tell them, you know, or whatever. They know, they, they, they have like a, a playbook. This is kind of like, when we have the high priestess, you're the high priestess. The high priestess knows everything and says not a word. You used to be trapped in a mental prison because of this person or in general. Swords signify your mind, your intellect, your thoughts. You used to be blindfolded because of this person. Okay? This person kept you trapped as beautiful as you look, wearing that beautiful long red gown with a low cut, low cut in the front, looking sexy and beautiful, knowing that if you were not trapped, wearing something like that, and this is just an analogy, how beautiful you look. As long as they kept you trapped, you weren't going to meet anybody else. You weren't gonna give your heart to anybody else. They wanted you to be invisible to everyone else. So they can have you for themselves, but then they weren't treating you right. They weren't showing up right. They weren't giving you what you deserve. That's why this person's a manipulator. This person also expected, I'm getting for some of you, the Eight of Wands is something very quickly happening. This person ended this very suddenly with you, okay? They didn't give you a lot of closure. It was just like, one thing after the other happened with this person or the Eight of Wands could also be a card of travel. I don't know if you went to travel to see um, this person and then they just like walks away from you, like just like nothing. Uh, they never took it, obviously didn't take, there's absolutely no card here on the table of taking responsibility for anything. You take this as a resident ace, this can mean a lot of things. But this person put a cloak on, And left. But this ex this person expected. See, in the Eight of Cups, this person has red a red cloak on, and here you have this red dress. This person expected that you were gonna walk away and stay trapped. That you weren't gonna move on. That you weren't gonna date other people or you were at least not going to be in a headspace to meet other people or, or want to allow other people in because you're going to be in a self-imposed imprisonment of your own mind because of all the games that they put you through you're going to be healing whatever and actually what ended up happening 
is that you evolved. You learned a big lesson here. You're the high priestess. You spiritually awakened. That's what actually happened. That's what I see here. You spiritually awakened. You tapped into your intuition. You tapped into knowledge. She has a scroll in her hand of everything she's gone through, everything she's ever been through, anything that's ever happened to her, everything she's learned, everything she's observed of other people. She doesn't speak on it, she just knows. She's also somebody that has managed, learned to manage and control her emotions and her impulses. If you were an impulsive person before, because this person, obviously, if you have an emperor in reverse, okay, honey, with the devil and the moon and the magician in reverse and the seven of swords, this could be a, a, a freaking epic gaslighter. It doesn't matter if you were the calmest person on earth. This is somebody that was going to get you out of character and driving you nuts and having you react left and right. Because people that manipulate, that's what they try. That's what they do. They try to get emotions, try to get a rise out of you, right? But when you're the high priestess, you learn to observe, not react. You learn to watch, not react. Not observe, not absorb. Remember we were talking about energy vampires. You learned how to put an energetic boundary to these vampires. Become quite a master at it. I'm proud of you, the divine's proud of you. You've mastered this energy what energy have you mastered well this energy she's the ruler of the moon look at the colors she sees the shadow she understands the shadow she's literally stepping on the moon she understands the shadow more than anybody she doesn't judge it but she's able to see it for what it is and she's not, it doesn't hypnotize her anymore. She's able to look at it, understand it, understand it's a part of the, you know, humans. Some humans behave this way. She's able to look into her scroll. Well, I understand this about people. I understand this about people's shadow. I understand this. Doesn't have to be my problem. I could observe it. I don't have to react to it, right? Because remember, underneath this moon was the Seven of Swords. Like this person's shadow, they really thought they were getting away with things. They're very manipulative, especially it's next to the freaking magician in reverse. So this is a story of somebody, like this very same person. And maybe, you know, if it's not the same person, it's like after you dealt with someone like this, you know how to deal with people now that are this way. Like you see life differently now. You see it through the lens of a high priestess. You see it, you have the scroll, the book of life literally in your hand. You're not trapped anymore. You know what just came to mind? It's, um, I saw a, uh, a video on YouTube and it's true. It's true because I've gone through it. You know, you will know if you've ever dealt with a narcissist, and it doesn't have to be, but I mean, it's, a, it's somebody, you don't have to be a full-blown narcissist to have, to have those kind of tendencies, and I see it on the table. You want to know how you've healed from narcissistic abuse or from a narcissist? You want to know if you've healed? They bore the shit out of you. They're so boring. Not just this a particular person, but people with those traits in general become so boring to you. They're boring and they really are because you're talking about a group of people that all have the same and like it's remarkable you know like they are all over this planet different cultures different backgrounds and they all have the same shadow energy that moon they all have the same they they, they operate from this with the same book like they have the same rule book. So they become so predictable and so fucking boring. Like here they are again with the same shit. You're able to see it like that. That That's like you're here. That's who you are now. Like they don't, you don't get triggered. 
you have the scroll in your hand and you're just like, damn, I already read this book like 30 times. Like, I don't want to see this book again. And it's not even an exciting one, right? It's like, it's like if somebody is having you watch a bad movie, like, you know, you have a movie you've watched a zillion times, you never get sick of it. Right? I'm like that with two movies. Well, a few, but you know which movies I've seen a million times, I don't get sick of it. I love Forrest Gump, it's one of my favorite movies. Um, Forrest Gump, I don't get sick of. I also don't get sick of Matilda. My daughter either. My daughter has watched Matilda with me like 45 times. I'm like, <laughs> I still enjoy it. You know, it's a fun story. Um, but imagine a movie that you could not stand. It was, it just irks you, gets on your nerves and you had to sit and watch it over and over again. Like after a while, you're just like, oh. You already know what's gonna happen. You already know the plot. You already know the plot sucks. You already know what they're gonna say. Like, and it's not even giving you pleasant feelings. You know, at least like movies you've seen a hundred times that that you like, like you know what they're gonna say, etc. But like, it's still exciting. Not when it's someone with devil energy in the moon. Like, this is some tired ass movie over and over again, right? That's the high priestess level that you've reached. That's what we're talking about here. You know. So now when this person tries to come back with these games, or you can sense it, you can smell it, you can sense their energy from a mile away, these kind of people. If it's somebody in particular, I'm getting though, like they might have not done anything outright, but they might have said something, said something to you. And like, you know, like they're so, like you know their, man their manipulative game so much that you're just like, God, this person's pathetic. Right? That's what the high priestess is here. Like, she doesn't judge, she just, but she doesn't, she's not bothered. And she's also silent. The high priestess doesn't speak much. So, this is either letting me know that you've already reached this place and you're not speaking to this person much. Like, you're not getting, you're not getting, a, not, you're walking away from their energy and not reacting to it. Or, because remember that past, present, and future is all an illusion when it comes to life and especially tarot. Or if this has not transpired in your life just yet, this is a message to you that you need to work on becoming the high priestess and not getting triggered by these people or this person because this is just their energy. And that could be because I said, I don't channel things for no reason. And I started saying, I just felt a blockage. I don't know why I felt a blockage. So you could literally still be in that eight of swords energy, which is the blockage. That's the blockage. And the divine's trying to have you tap in to your intuition so they can speak to you and tell you how to handle the situation. Okay, there's like a double message here. This is about somebody in particular, but also like about your life. Like this is also a message like um, about getting out of the blockage, like taking taking a blockages as an opportunity to tap into get go into high priestess mode and figure out what the divine is trying to talk to you about because it's something, and whatever your intuition tells you. That's the truth. And if this is a, and if you need a confirmation what, and about somebody in particular or something, whatever your intuition is telling you right now is the answer. That's, 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 it's the truth. It's nudging you. Let me take this other deck. This is called the Wandering Star Tarot by Pat Pierce. And. I want to know who is this emperor in reverse? Why are they here? What do they want? That was a lot of questions at once, but I think you get the point. Well, 
We have the Wheel of Fortune. This is somebody that was in your life karmically. The Wheel of Fortune is the card of, it says karma, destiny, karma, destiny, karma, destiny. Karma destiny, karma destiny, karma destiny, karma destiny, karma destiny, <laughs> okay? You definitely had some kind of big karmic lesson to learn with this person. They were in your life. It was so that you can reach. The high priestess mode that we're talking about. Remember, this doesn't have to be romantic. It doesn't. This could be a parent, someone you live with, just people you keep attracting into your life in general. Right? Because the thing about this devil energy is like once you attract people like this, you start attracting them everywhere you go until you become the high priestess. And they're, it's so like glaring and boring. What else? Tell me more. We got the Wheel of Fortune for this Emperor in Reverse. No. We got the Wheel of Fortune for this Emperor in Reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles. Look what's at the bottom. Can't make it up. The same card. The Two of Swords is the blockage. The Nine of Swords. I mean, these are terrible cards, but like, it's telling us the truth. The Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, and these cards have messages on it. It says struggle, hardship, loss, hardship, loss. It says it over and over again. Here she is alone, okay? This is somebody that has, you know, or situations put you through struggle, hardship, loss, being left out in the cold. This person could have done that to you, honestly. It was followed by the Seven of Swords. Again, theft, dishonesty, it says. This bird in particular has a ring, okay, on its claw, which is always significant to me, always stands out to me. Because to me, what I'm getting, it's like somebody that's taken something from you, but also with that ring, kind of reminds me of like, a, let's say an engagement ring or something, right? Like somebody, let's say somebody played around acting because we're talking about someone manipulative right like they were going to give you a ring or they were going to offer you the world you guys were going to end up together and they end up leaving you out in the cold manipulating you it was all a karmic lesson leading you on never doing what they're supposed to do you know it was all gain now we have the nine of swords and the two of swords the Nine of Swords is being in your head. It's anxiety. This person kept you in your head or this situation kept you in your head a lot. Gave you a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. Um, definitely kept you in a state of, of being in a blockage. Two of Swords. Blocked and blindfolded. Again, that is the second card of the table that has a blindfold. Unable to make decisions. Unable to make choices. Because when people, this, this kind of energy uh, manifests into your life. Five of Pentacles is also financial lack. When this kind of energy manifests into your life, it affects everything. It starts to affect your finances. It starts to affect your ability to think. It starts to affect your ability to sleep. It starts to, it starts to give physical symptoms that can actually affect your health because you're raising your cortisol, your anxiety level, okay? It starts to affect your ability to make, to, to be rational because they're manipulating you. And they, they're, they're, you know, this is somebody like that. And all of this was a big karmic lesson that the divine put you through for what? You know, I said to get you into the high priestess mode because you're about to literally enter the most abundant time of your life. And that is confirmation because I said that at 441, uh, 4441, which backwards are in my angel numbers, 1144, 1444, 144, 4444, all of those. 
And as I said that, that was what was, you know, on the table and it was followed here, look, with, with the three of swords in reverse underneath it. This world card is not broken. I just had to put like a, like a sticky tape on it because apparently now on YouTube, if any card has drawn in animated nudity, they demonetize you. They've done it to a couple of my videos already. I've, I've been flagged. With the world card, wow. With this three of swords in reverse, the world card, honey, is the closing out of an old cycle and we are not doing this anymore. We're not doing this game anymore. We're not doing this anymore. We're healing our heart. Good for you. Three of swords, heartbreak, sorrow, grief. Everything you've gone through, you're healed. But you're still, this is what I'm getting though. Like, so you've been healing your heart because of whatever you've gone through, but you still feel some blockages. Now we're going into like stage two of this reading. It's more complex. I wish you can see them all. It sucks that you can't on the table. I'm sorry about that guys. Look, I have this whole, this is how the device thing looks like. It has like a clip and then this big thing and then you like clip it. But the big clip thing for some reason won't close on this table. This is the only table I have access to right now. So this is not a permanent thing. It just, I just know I can't use this table, which is fine because I have a desk anyway. It's just somebody's working in that room right now to fix the uh, air conditioner and stuff. Guys, but you know, that's what I'm getting. It's like another level. Like, so I'm getting like, this is, okay. This is, this is, I guess complex, but not that complex. This person, if it's a particular person, yeah, I have to keep it real. I feel like there's somebody trying to come back and it's like, um, you're able to see it for what it is. And the divine is showing you, like they're having you like test you a little bit so that you can, so that you're able to actually consciously be aware that you've completed a cycle, that you're healed because of the level of boredom that it causes you. You'll be able to confirm to yourself that, that you've done Quite a bit of healing here. So if this person comes back into your life, they, they are. But I'm getting it's like in a really sneaky way. We got the seven of swords twice. I don't know if this person has a habit. Like, for example, it could be one of those people that freaking they haven't talked to you in forever. They 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 screwed you over big time. They don't call you to apologize, but they're sending you song lyrics. To like try to like spot and if that actually happened to you, holy confirmation, or a song or something, to try to like, like of all the songs in the world, why are you sending me one with these kind of lyrics? Like, you know, it's to manipulate you, to get in your head. Somebody that's like really manipulative like that. Except so if they come, you know, so so something like that might happen to the point that you're able to see it like. For what it is and it's just like ill like i'm bored of it i'm bored by this and that's what the divine wants to see not they already know the divine already knows they, but they want you to be conscious that you've gone through a healing okay but someone is going to try so when i say someone's going to be exposed for something i feel like that's what they're going to be exposed for like for what it is the fact that and you're going to be able to just, like, again, be the high priestess. Look. And see the devil. There's the devil again. For what it is. The devil in this card has a mask on. It's like blindfold. 
but they can see it's a mask. I never channeled this card this way, but you know what I'm getting? It's like this person, when they manipulate, like this devil in this card looks all like seductive, etc. you know? They do things in a manipulative way as if they don't know what they're doing. Like as if they have a blindfold, like what do you mean? I would never do something like that. But meanwhile, like they see everything, you know? Like you have a mask on, but you, you see everything, but you know, you see all everything that you're doing. Stop lying. And this is also some, uh, by the way, this is somebody that watches everything that you do, by the way. They watch you. They watch you. This person watches you. I really hope that whoever this is, I send them healing if they need it. But I have a feeling that they're not, they're not there. They're not, I'm not sure that they're going to reach there because the first card that we got, one of the first cards that we got was the Emperor in reverse with the Six of Cups in reverse. It's somebody that is completely unwilling to go into that, that space of childhood that causes them to be that way. As long as you are not able to take accountability and see within yourself to that degree, you will never heal as much as you think that you will. No, you, you will not. And uh, no amount of pushing can get somebody to this place. That is why narcissists exist in the first place. We know that, right? Well, maybe you don't. Why would you know that? I mean, I know that because I went to school for psych, psychology and whatnot, but it's not, I guess, not common knowledge for like a normal, you know, everyday person, especially someone that hasn't dealt with this. But that is the hallmark of why they are the way they are, is the fact that they are not able to connect even with themselves. Like there is a, a, a wounded, every narcissist is a wounded child, but the wounding is so deep that they are not able to 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 see it, acknowledge it. They develop an ego around that that is so permeable, like that you cannot penetrate in order to feel like they are strong, powerful, and accomplished, etc. in whatever way, you know, and they will never see past that. They will never be able to see past that. Like they are wonderful all the time great phenomenal okay so and that's it i mean the six of cups in reverse the the emperor in reverse the devil the moon the seven of swords okay and the and the magician in reverse those are some pretty gnarly gnarly and i don't even use that adjective i don't know where that's coming from that could be an omen for you because i don't know what i'm channeling i never use that adjective. where did the word gnarly come from i don't i don't i feel like that's a very california thing to say like i'm from jersey and new york city and we don't say gnarly we do not anyway but i felt like saying it right now but that is a gnarly <laughs> combination okay like Holy yikes. So now we're getting into stage two where like the divine might be causing blockages in your life while simultane simultaneously bringing back some of these, the, these, these people that, are, that have been karmically integrated into your life in order to bring your fortune now like the divine sick of seeing you now in five pentacles hardship loss struggle the divine sick of seeing you okay as much i say sick of seeing you that doesn't mean they don't have patience they love you the divine will never leave you just bring that out there don't take my my choice of words and adjectives like to heart please don't um sometimes i just can't find the right words to say as a human being but i know the sentiment the nine of swords anxiety worry they don't want you to be stuck like you might be in like uh anxious about other things like you see this for what it is but you, you're still having a hard time with choices you're having a hard time in general you might be having financial issues right now like you've healed so so you've already been able to see the shadow for what it is you're tapping to your high priestess energy but now it's left you kind of, I'm getting like in an energy of like, now what? 
Like I've gone a long time dealing with these kind of people or this person, but now what? Like now I need to make decisions on connecting with different kinds of people or how do I show up in the world or et cetera. Or, or if this was a boss, like now what kind of a job should I apply so this doesn't happen again um, in my situation? I, I can't deal with people like this anymore. Um, like now, uh, now, now what do I do? You know, so that can give you a feeling of blockage right now because you, and the divine wants you to know that what seems like a blockage is actually a passageway. Okay. It's a hallway that you're walking down, right? Like a little tiny dark hallway that when you reach the other side of that hallway, like the ending of it, it opens to the wheel of fortune, your destiny, this colorful, abundant new land. Okay? Kind of even how like this table looks right here. I, like I'm looking at the screen since it's like right here. I have it up right like that. Kind of like reminds me that like a, like this is just a room. It's just a bed with a hard ass mattress. It's the hardest mattress I've ever freaking found in my life. Okay. <laughs> no decor on the wall. Nothing. There's nothing here, man. It's like you're walking and then that little window space. Look how beautiful it looks once you're out there. You know, like, it's like, little room, darkness, paradise, right? In a little box. So right now, if you feel like you're in a blockage walking, and then when you're at the end, you reach there, it opens into this green, lush, bright, sunny. And that might be literal for you or just a figurative analogy that I'm giving. Like, your abundance is out there. But you're here right now, but you're about to, so you're experiencing some kind of blockage right now, but you're about to reach the end. Like you're about to go out there. Okay. And this might have caused financial issues because this person could have affected your self-esteem, could have um, caused some kind of depression that caused you to get in your mind. I mean, this is anxiety and worry. Could have affected your health because they were causing you stress, kept you blocked. And I'm getting also this person I kept get I kept getting like if this was a romantic partner or whatever, they put you kind of in an energy where it made you feel like like you couldn't like talk to other people or something. Like they you know what I mean? Like they had a way of manipulating you into into like you being stuck on them. And like that's what they want. But they have no intention if this is romantic to actually giving you what you deserve. I'm going to just make that clear again for whoever's missing the point here. But the blockages that you're feeling right now are now like, okay, so I'm the high priestess. I'm sitting, you're trying to tap into your intuition to try to figure out like, now what? That might even come with some kind of sadness. At the, well, sometimes the most beautiful cards to get is the world's card. You're closing out of a cycle. You're about to get your reward, your success. You, you're completing a cycle, but that always comes with some kind of sadness. Like, okay, uh, but I'm closing out this cycle. But some, whenever you're starting something new, you go, or, you know, that comes with a little bit of sadness, I guess, or like worry, or, you know? And that's interesting because I was channeling that energy too, even though it's not the same thing. But like I was just in Jersey for two months and I came back here. And even though this is my home, because I did move to the Dominican Republic two years ago. Like when I go for, and when I'm in one place for a long time and then I'm not really good with changes. Like just the change of going from there back here, even though I've been living here for a while. Like my mind kind of um, goes through a period of some kind of blockage. Like I don't, I don't do change very well, you know. Like I was just with my family like all the time for two months and then I'm just here. All of a sudden, it's a different reality. Like I'm by myself again, like with like nobody. My friends aren't around again, you know? And like, uh, I'm fine, but I'm just slow to warm up to changes, even though I already knew what was here. It could be something like that, you know? But honey, life is just looking up from here is what I'm getting. And the main message here, I guess, today was for you to be the divine's acknowledging 
that you've you've reached the goal, like you've closed out the cycle, acknowledging who this person was, who this person is, and when they come forward and do some manipulative shit or whatever, they want you to be able to look at it. They want you to be able to look at it. That's why they're bringing it up. Like, don't miss the sign. This is who this person is. This is a confirmation of them. They also don't want you to get stuck in some kind of sad energy. They don't want you to say anything to this person either. But I don't feel like you are if you're tapping into this high priestess energy. Like, you're not going to get triggered. This person kind of wants to trigger you. They wanted to bring that up to your attention. This person's acting like they don't want you in their life, but really they want the, they want you to get back into the same dynamic you were in before, even if they act like, like they don't. They do. Because they miss the attention. Okay? 100%. Um, another thing that they're saying here is that you're about to have a brand new life. Okay? Like things are about to look up in finances and all that and all those things. Even though if you feel kind of stuck right now, they want you, they don't want them to say too much. Maybe I'll save it for another reason, but they want you to meditate. They want you to go within because they're about to, they really want to speak to you. Like the divine wants to speak to you personally. Basically, they're here to tell you like, I need to have a conversation with you. I already told you this right now. And now like, I need to have a conversation with you um, to tell you why you feel some kind of blockages. Um, what I want you to do now. I want you to have peace in knowing that the path that you're about to go down is going to lead you to a lot of abundance where you're not going to be in this five of pentacles energy, this loss, this struggle, this hardship. You're not going to be around dishonest people anymore. You are going to reach the rewards of completing this um, cycle. You're going to be able to make decisions and choices that are going to uh, benefit you, not affect you. The anxiety and the worry, all of that is going to be cured. You're going to be fine and you're going to be free of heartbreak. They want to guarantee you that right now. But they want you to take some time right now to meditate, talk to them, jot down your thoughts, put a uh, binaural beat or Gregorian chants, Google it, um, um, YouTube it, YouTube search it and play whichever. I'm not going to recommend any in particular, but okay. Um... Find which one works for you, whatever gets you into that zone and just tap into your intuition because they are going to give you ideas and things. It's not coming out of nowhere. Things or signs are going to be popping up left and right, places you have to go, maybe career choices you have to make, um, moves you have to make, changes you have to make. And they're guiding you towards doors that are going to open, that are then going to lead you to this wheel of fortune they have right around the corner. But changes do need to be made, but they kind of want to have a conversation with you. Today, today, do that today. I want you to pay attention to the signs specifically today. You might see ads for particular careers or uh, openings or whatever. If it's, you know, like uh, uh, signs of, you know, maybe the palm trees are a freaking sign for you. Maybe you're thinking about moving to Florida or somewhere where there's palm trees. I don't know, California. Well, the Cali palm trees look a little different. These are like Florida palm trees. Dominican Republic, um, it's the same as Florida palm trees, right? Um, I feel like the Cali ones are like tall. It's a different species, right? I was about to say a different breed, but they're not animals. <laughs> um... What? Just listen. Listen. I hope that this reading made sense for whoever it was, and there, and you are gonna meet somebody, okay? <laughs> and you are gonna attract. Oh my God! Look at this. You are going to attract attraction. A soulmate very soon. But it says clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. But you gotta make some choices right now. The divine's like holding a lot of this abundance from you until you can connect and have this conversation with them. What the hell is that noise? Give me something for that emperor in reverse. What the heck? Damn. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. But look what's at the bottom. Can't make it up. I said specifically, tell me about that emperor in reverse. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I told you.
Stay optimistic beside, beside, regardless of this deception, this deceptive person. Yeah, you see, like, okay, so this person also is going to try to reconcile with you very soon, but there's a deceptive energy around them. They want you to be aware of that. I got to keep it real. That's what we were talking about. Like, they just want to have the same dynamic with you, right? Like, they, they could have, like, literally left you. This is somebody that walked away from you. They probably had other people, they owed other opportunities, whatever. It didn't pan out. Now, they're starving for attention and validation. And they're trying to, like, fuck with you again. Excuse my language. There's no need for me to be cursing for no reason. So be aware of that. That was that was a card right there that said, don't get your, oh, look, I picked it up the same one. Don't get your feathers ruffled. Inner calm, well-being, patience, deep breathing, compassion, and the ideal. I'm telling you, if the, if the divine brings this person back to you with the same old crap, it's so that, just so that you can recognize how far you've come. Just so that you can recognize how far you've come. Because your feathers are not going to be ruffled. Because you are going to be high priestess. I have more to say on this, but the divine wants to have a conversation with you first. I'm going to leave it here then. I love you guys. Love and light.